that's a lot of white oak. Uh, mill it up, just put some weight on it as I uh, take a break for the weekend and we'll pick back up on this on uh, Monday, I guess. So a lot of white oak and uh, we'll be joining them together, of course, with dominoes. And then I use, I'll show you, I want to show you something that I use um, to bring the ingrains together because again, I'm going to be stacking this uh, thing and I matched them. Uh, I'm going to rematch the grain, but then I use these uh, pinch stones. They're amazing. Um, what you can do is it allows you to really pinch uh, the edge grain together. Um, and then, of course, I'll have dominoes all through here. But then pinch the ends of the boards on the back side together. And it's like a clamp that I'll be able to hammer in. Uh, it'll never be seen. My brother's calling me. Um, that'll never be seen uh, as I do this. So, yeah, that's uh, what's going on. So, I've got all the milling done. Uh, now, next is dominoes. And figuring out the alignment that I want. I already did a lot on, on like a drew it out on a piece of paper. Um, always do it a little oversized. And then uh, I'll work on grain matching this week. And then dominoes. Then gluing up one board at a time. Using those pinch dogs. Clamp the ends together so there'll be a, hardly any seam, if anything. And try to grain match that as well. Because I labeled. As you can see, I labeled all my boards to know what width they are. Because I'll match uh, each one to its width. And then... Uh, remembering where I'll cut it. So if I like cut this one, the board that was flipped, it will come in here and we'll, uh, that's what we're going to do is we'll pinch dog them back together um, and try to best grain match it. Uh, where the only people that will know really that these boards were cut in half uh, were me. So I'll do dominoes in the ends of this too. I'm not worried about shrinkage because boards don't shrink um, this way. On their length, they shrink and expand on their width. So we'll make sure that uh, because they're glued up, they'll still be able to expand and contract. The, they won't have to worry about shrinking in length when I join them together like this. camera died I didn't like record myself sanding which I really don't think y'all care to watch me just sand and sand and sand and sand and sand so anyways the uh, countertop is behind me I'll show you some uh, let you look at it a little bit but it is ready to be installed and hopefully we'll be installing it tomorrow uh, it's a Friday hopefully gonna install it on a Saturday I've got to had to call on some friends I cannot load this by myself but I'm really pleased with how it turned out it is beautiful white oak and uh yeah, I'll give you a little look at it, and then uh, we're going to keep hitting you with the time lapse and uh, watch us install this thing. So as you can see right now, I've got, I've just got it sitting in my shop. I've got it on uh, some rollers, and uh, I've just got weight sitting on it. Um, but anyways, this stuff is just beautiful white oak. Put a 3 16 round over on it. Really, really pleased. I got to blow the dust off of it, but I just kind of keep weight on it as it sets on these beams. And uh, yeah, I did a test fit. I made a little template of the sink and went and set the sink and looked at it the other day and it's gonna be good to go. And we're gonna get this thing uh, 
load it and then they're gonna the cabinet maker or the um builder is gonna have the person put finish on it but i'm really pleased with this thing um it's super flat and it's really beautiful white oak and so it's gonna be a gorgeous in the setting that it's gonna be in uh it's gonna go really well with the green that the island is and so really happy with it so. all right we are in the uh in the house that uh, I'm doing this install in. So a um, couple things added to the, um, I guess, island uh, bracket so that I can mount the uh, tabletop. And what I did is I drilled plenty big holes, just like I do a tabletop so that you could put a screw through it with a washer and then it has the ability to move plenty of uh, big enough holes all through there. And then I did a couple of dominoes on the inside uh, both of this where I could do basically my uh, domino clips uh, to hold it down. So yeah, now I'm just working on the sink. I'll bring you over here and let you see the sink. All right, got the sink set. And what I did was I just put some stopper blocks back here that are out of the way that won't be affecting, but that way the sink can't go back any further if someone shoved on it. And the weight, no one should be able to yank on that thing, especially once all the uh, drainage is in. Uh, for it, but it is set and ready to uh, install for tomorrow. So again, it's gonna look really cool on this uh, really pretty big island. So again, this is over, it's 10 foot long, so I have an inch and a half. They want an inch and a half overhang on each side. I basically an inch and a half over around, so it's really, uh, I guess, 10 feet, three inches, and five feet, three inches wide. So, and then has the sink cut out, so uh, really cool cool custom kitchen island uh, for this uh, home. got it set I gotta come in now I, I left something at my shop so I gotta come in and get some washers so that I can attach everything to it but this thing is beautiful and then I'm gonna sand it I'm gonna sand it one more time while it's in its spot with 220 maybe a 400 grit and then I uh, go from there but it is really really pretty
job. Uh, there are moments where I probably didn't time lapse everything, but as you can see, it's installed behind me. The uh, homeowners, I, I didn't record some because the homeowners were here and I, I like showed back up and got to talking to them and they were in love with their countertop. The builder is happy. So um, man, I, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. It was a challenging project, but man, it, uh, it really turned out really, really well. It helped me grow in my skill and I'm just, I'm very, very pleased. I try to do the best job that I can and I want both the homeowner and the uh, contractor happy with uh, the product. So they are. And so this one is a wrap. Um, it is uh, a big, uh, again, 10 foot long, five foot wide, white oak island top uh, built around a sink. And that is just a staple piece where a family is going to be able to make many, 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 many memories. And this was just right down the road from my shop. So anyways, hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about building a big countertop like this, uh, leave it in the comments, uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. All that helps me in this channel is I'm just documenting my journey. Um, anyways, check out my website if you want to see some more of my work. Other than that, uh, get out there, keep woodworking, sawmilling, crating, and all that stuff. Until next time.